Hi kids, Lindo here. Hi kids, Keely here. Welcome to Some Faith's Kids. It's so good to have you here with us today. And it's so nice to know that we're learning how to love, follow, and know Jesus from wherever we are. So we've been learning a lot from the book of Colossians, which tells us heaps about Jesus. And Paul was writing to the Colossian church from prison in Rome, and he was imprisoned for telling people about Jesus. So Linda, what have we learned from Colossians so far? All right, first thing. The first thing we learned was about Jesus. What does this crown remind us of? Yes, you are right. Jesus is number one. Jesus, number one, right at the top where he belongs. Who he is and what he's done, make Jesus number one. Yay, Jesus made everything and he holds everything together. And we know that Jesus died on the cross for us so that we can be friends with God. And he didn't stay dead, he rose again. He's alive and we can be alive with him. Yeah, and so we take off our old selves and then we put on our new selves, which is God's way. God wants to be our friend. His love and forgiveness is a gift. Freely given, we don't have to earn it. So we got to be like trees and stick with him and have our roots deep in him so that we don't move. So let's love each other and forgive each other so that we can stand tall and strong. And we got to remember to keep praying so that we can pray for things to say thank you to God for all the good things he's given us, but also pray for others to hear the good news about Jesus. So, what are we learning from Colossians today, Lyndall? Well, Keely, today is our last lesson from Colossians. We're going to be learning the next section from Colossians chapter 4. Could you read it from the Bible for us, I please, sure Keely? I sure can, Lyndall. So, it's from Colossians 4, verses 5 to 7. Be wise in the way you act toward people who don't know Jesus. Make the most of every opportunity. Let everything you say be always full of grace, seasoned with salt, so that you may know how to answer everyone. Colossians is amazing. It has it all, Keely. So we've learnt who Jesus is and what he's done. We've learnt how we live with Jesus. We've learnt how we live with each other. And now we're learning how we live in a world with people who don't know Jesus yet. Wow. Well, Lyndall, i got to be real. I don't really understand the bit about being seasoned with salt. Okay. Okay, Kelly, what is your favourite food? Chips. Definitely chips. I already knew that. <laughs> chips are great, right? Especially with a bit of salt. Uh, look, chips are great with salt or without salt. Chips are always great. Nah, it's the salt that makes them taste good. Don't believe me? Let's have a taste test. All right, you'll need some hand sanitizer. Very important. All right, I've got two bowls here. Mm -hmm. All right, one bowl has chips with salt. One bowl has chips without salt. I want you to taste, like actually taste, mm -hmm. one bowl, one chip from one bowl and one chip from the other bowl and tell me which one you like best. Okay. Mmm, that tastes really, really good. Oh. Wow. Is that one the one with salt? That's the one with salt. That one tastes so much better. The other one just kind of tastes like nothing. I wouldn't even want to eat it, really. So, when Paul talks about being salty in Colossians, he means that when we hang out with our friends and our family who don't know Jesus yet, what we do and what we say should be sprinkled with salt. So, that doesn't really make sense, Lyndall, because I'm not going to walk around seasoning myself with salt at uni, seasoning myself with salt when I go to the shop, seasoning myself with salt when I walk the dog. Well, no, you don't have to have a giant salt shaker following you around everywhere. Paul means that just like food tastes good with a sprinkle of salt, what we do and what we say show other people how good it is to follow Jesus. You know what, Lyndall? I don't think I was very salty yesterday when I told my mum I wouldn't walk the dog. Or I don't think I was really salty the day before when I purposefully ignored my dad. You know what, Keely? We all mess up. We None of us get it right all the time. And that's one of the fantastic things about following Jesus. Jesus will forgive us every time we mess up. Every time. 
You know what, Lyndall? I really, really want my friends and family to get to know Jesus and how much God loves them. Me too, Keely. How about we pray? Sounds good. Hey, everyone, do you want to do a prayer clap? In three, three two, two, one. Father God, we thank you for Jesus. We thank you for your love and care for us. Thank you that we had, that he has made a way for us to be friends with you, Lord. We pray that you might help us to be seasoned with salt so that we might be a light to everyone when we tell them the gospel. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Thanks, Keely. Hey, kids, this week, let's think about ways that we can be like a tasty sprinkle of salt at home with our families and even online. It's really important to think about what we do and what we say. So that's it for St. Faith's Kids this week, but you guys have your activities to get on with now. And we'll see you next week, same time, same place. And keep in touch with us. Let us know how we can be praying for you. And get on our Facebook page and let us know you're there. All right. Well, it's really nice to be spending time with you. We'll see you next week. See you week. later. Miss Bye. you. Love you. Bye.